T.K. Whitaker, the man credited with changing the face of economic development in Ireland, has died at the age of 100. Ken Whitaker served as Secretary General of the Department of Finance, the Governor of the Central Bank, and as a member of Shanna Theron. President Michael D. Higgins said Dr. Whitaker's life work stood as the embodiment of the finest qualities and aspirations of the Irish people. The Taoiseach Enda Kenny said he was, in every sense, a national treasure. Thomas Kenneth Whitaker was just 39 years old when he was appointed to the top job at the Department of Finance in 1955. The civil servant born in County Down and raised in Drogheda took over as Secretary General at the department when the economy was in a dire state. He concluded that a radical new approach was required. This trying to lift ourselves by our own bootstraps was not going to get anywhere, obviously, in a country that was poor, and had a very small market. And the only way you could promote employment and um, living standards was by gearing yourself to sell your produce abroad. In, and since agricultural produce could only be sold in the British market at low prices dictated by their food policy, you had to try and get into other things, industry and services. This thinking in the first programme for economic expansion was accepted by Taoiseach Sean Lamass. It would increase foreign investment here, spur economic growth and cut unemployment rates. In 1965, Ken Whitaker also helped organise an unprecedented meeting between the Taoiseach and the Prime Minister of Northern Ireland, Terence O'Neill. There was an unfortunate coincidence. The very year after Lamass met O'Neill in Stormont, we had the Golden Jubilee of 1916, which was undoubtedly celebrated with more enthusiasm in Belfast than it was in Dublin. And this encouraged um, the extremists to come out against the move towards reconciliation. While this early effort at reconciliation was unsuccessful, it did undoubtedly lay the foundations for future agreements in the North. It was consistent too with T.K. Whitaker's open approach to politics and culture, something the President spoke about today. You could be for modern existence and be at the same time very committed to the Irish language. You could have both ethics and economics. You could have both culture and efficiency. You could do all of these things. His was a very generous, open, positive mind. In 1969, Ken Whitaker became Governor of the Central Bank. After retiring from that role, he was twice appointed to the Shannad, and for 20 years, up to 1996, he was Chancellor of the National University of Ireland. But perhaps his most enduring legacy was his determination to change the economic thinking of politicians here in the late 1950s. Its benefits, something that he could reflect on with pride late in his life. In spite of all our present difficulties, we have a lot to look back on now for 50 years of in progress. Because when I was just finished school, um, only one out of 17, I think, went on to university. And now it's two out of three. And there are marvellous changes like that which uh, have, have raised our standard of living. Oh, I'm a year old and I'm a clean shark. Well, good to me, I'm a little more